Hi, my name is Oliver and in this video I'll teach you how to animate spray paint in After Effects. So to get started, you can see that I've illustrated this very simple can. If we zoom in here, you can actually see that it consists of the can and the valve. And if we only enable the can, you can see that I've just cut out the shape. So when we actually take this valve, we can move it up and down and it sort of disappears down into the can. So that's really what we want. Then I have illustrated this spray paint and I haven't added any effects yet. So it will look a bit different later on, but this is just a simple shape. You can see it's just a, a stroke and a few strokes for the sort of drip, the paint dripping down the wall. So if you want to support the channel, you can go down in the description and download the project file. You can take a deeper look at my keyframing and the easing. Or you can simply use my illustration to create your own spray paint animation. So to create this movement, we first of all have to select the can here. And we want to set the anchor point up to the top of the can. So we'll select the pan behind tool, click and drag it up here, just sort of approximately in the middle, because this is where the, the spray paint will sort of come out from. Then we take the valve and we parent it to the can. And that way, when we move the can around, the valve will essentially just follow. So we want the, the can to sort of have this motion path. And the way you actually do this is that you open up the paint. Here we'll find the paint right here. And we can see the path for this paint. Now, when doing something like this, when actually copying a path into a, a position of another object, it's always nice to have very smooth curves because that way it doesn't look that jacket when it's moving. And that's also why I've made this very smooth here in, in these sort of corners. Because I've, if I were to, let's say, drag this down, it would look very jagged right here because the curvature isn't that smooth. But we can take this path and just select it and press Command and Control C to copy it. Then we go up into the can, we just go to the start and we press P to get the position click that position and we just paste it there. So now you can see that we get this motion path and it isn't completely aligned yet, but we'll just select every single keyframe and then we can just drag it and sort of line it up with this path right here. And we'll just ease these keyframes. Now you can see there's actually four keyframes and the reasoning behind this is that these, the first and the last keyframe are actually the keyframes controlling the animation and these two in the middle are called rove across time. See, it's these two points. There's one keyframe for each point. And what this essentially means is that these control the speed and, and these will be placed depending on how you ease this. So if we go in here and we select the speed graph, you can see the two points are just placed on this sort of speed graph. When we move it, they will just follow along. So we'll add a bit more easing here to the end and a little bit to the start. And we can also make it a bit quicker just by moving this last keyframe. And when we do that, you can see that it just moves a little bit faster along this path. Now we want to add a bit of rotation animation to this because it looks very still when, when it's just moving in the position. So you can press Shift and R to get the rotation, add a keyframe here to the start. And now you just have to imagine, okay, if you, took a, a spray paint can and we're holding it and we're doing that sort of motion, how would you rotate the can? So at first the can would be a bit tilted in, in the direction to the right. Then we can go to the first point here, the first rove across time keyframe. We can basically just set it back to zero here because that's sort of how you would move your hand. Then we can go to the next row across time keyframe and we can just tilt it a little bit to the right again. And then we can go to the very end and just tilt it a little bit to the left. So now when we have done this, we can essentially just ease these keyframes and play it back. So we now want to go ahead and animate on the spray paint. So we'll go into the paint. Here we'll just select the paint, so the main sort of path. We'll go to add and we'll add a trim paths. And if we open that up, we basically just want to take the end, set it all the way back to zero and add a keyframe, then go to the point where it's done animating and we'll just put it all the way over to 100. And now we want to sort of copy the easing of these two keyframes. So we'll just F9 to ease it and just roughly do the same. So there was a bit of easing here towards the end. 
and a bit here at the start. And that should work nicely, as you can see. And now we want to do sort of the same with the, the dripping paint. So we can close down the paint here and go to the drip. And here you can see we have four different drips. So we'll just start with the first one. We'll add a trim path to it. And here you can see, oh, it sort of has to start right around here when, because the first drip is this one right here. So of course it will start dripping when the spray paint is actually applied. So right around here, we'll set it to zero as we did before at a keyframe and just go a bit ahead and set it to 100. And we can select the keyframes, press F9 to ease them. And here you essentially just want a bit of easing at the end and make it a bit quicker towards the start. So as you can see, that's sort of dripping down. And of course you want to adjust this so it actually looks like paint. It shouldn't be too quick. So you can make it quite long like this. Now you can copy these keyframes and then we will close this down. We'll go to number two. So we'll go a bit ahead from this first one and we'll paste it. And then go a bit ahead again, paste it to the third one, and go a bit ahead and paste it to the fourth one. So now we can press U on the layer to see all keyframes. And you can see we have all of these drips going down. Now we want to sort of adjust the speed because you can see the first one is the longest. So that should be the slowest. So we can take some of these other keyframes and sort of drag them in to adjust that. And really just play around with it until you get something you'd like. But this looks fine for now. And I want to start to add some effects to this paint to really mix it together a bit better. Because right now you can see the drips don't really look like they're part of this main path because it's just a straight line. So the way we're going to fix this is that we'll go to effects and presets and we'll search for the Gaussian blur. We'll take that and drag that onto our paint layer. And we just want to blur it a bit, so maybe right around 15. And the reasoning behind this is that you can see when we start to blur it, you can see some overlap here in the corners, so it will connect more. And now we just have to sharpen it again. And to do that, we'll go and search for simple choker, drag that onto the layer, and we'll just drag this out until we get a sharp result. And as you can see right here, if we just drag it out a bit more, it actually makes these nice rounded corners and, and that way it connects the, the paint drips better uh, with the, the main paint sort of line. And for the last effect, we can actually go ahead and add a turbulent displace. Because right now it's, it's a bit too smooth for my liking. So we add this effect and we turn the size down quite a lot, maybe to around 20. And we also turn the amount down. So you can see it just gives it a bit more of a turbulent look so it isn't that clean and of course with with sort of spray paint it wouldn't be that sharp because it's getting sprayed on so if you actually disable the simple choker this could look more like spray paint if you if you made it even more blurry but i just think that this just doesn't, doesn't really fit with sort of the vector style that i'm looking for so i like this more sort of a sort of vectorized sharp look uh, a lot better and if we zoom out you can now see that we have this spray paint animation. And really this is quite simple to create. And you can create whatever shape you'd like because you're just going to copy the path into the position anyways. And now for the final touch, we of course need to animate the sort of valve going down as it starts to paint. So we'll go to the start, press P as in position. We'll right click and separate the dimensions because we only want to animate the Y position. And we just go a few keyframes ahead. And you can see we can just drag this down, so it's sort of pushed down like this. And then we'll go towards the end, add another keyframe here, and we'll just copy and paste the first one, so it goes up again. And we'll just ease these keyframes, and if we zoom out, we can have a look at what we have created so far. So you can see this looks great, we have that spray paint animation, and, and it's just following that sort of trajectory, and that looks amazing. But maybe you think, oh, the can is a bit too still when it's done, or maybe you wanted to insert the frame before. And it's quite hard to do that because if we press U on the can, you can see that we've already animated the position. If you start to animate it here towards the end again, it will, it will just look sloppy. But that's actually a way to do this. You just go to Layer, New, Null Object. Then you would place that in the center of the can and parent the can to it. And now, if you wanted to, we can press P here to see the position of the other layer, press P on the null object, 
And you would essentially just go a bit before this position animation is done, add a keyframe, and then you would go a bit ahead. And here you could just move it wherever you'd like and ease it and everything like that. And that way you can overlap the position animation so it actually flows better together. And really this is just all about tweaking. And of course you can adjust the, the motion path if you go up to the pen tool, click and drag and select the convert vertex tool. You can sort of uh, make it more of an arc. And really this is just about playing around with it and, and getting something you like. And that's how I created the sort of intro animation. But, but that's really the way you would move it. And also you could take um, the sort of null object and animate the rotation back and forth because you're sort of shaking the can and making it, it ready for, for that spray paint. But this is really an extra thing that you can go ahead and do if you'd like. And this is basically how you would animate the spray paint. And this is a very stylistic version. Of course, you could do it in a lot of different ways, but this is just the way that I found uh, the most suiting for my sort of illustration style. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to leave a like, post a comment down below and tell me if you had any trouble with this tutorial or if you have any suggestions for future tutorials. If you created anything from this, make sure to share it with me on Instagram at Oliver Randolph and make sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to get notified when I upload future videos. That's all for now, till next time.